focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Keep evolving with Ajmera Group. city where 20 million people rise at the crack of dawn and don't sleep well into the night epitomizes life in the city of dreams, Mumbai. Also known as Maya Nagri, the city is full of dreamers, laborers, actors, gangsters and millionaires. Mumbai is also India's financial powerhouse and fashion capital. It's also a city of stark contrasts. On the one hand, it has India's prolific film industry, coupled with housing one of Asia's biggest slums on the other hand, and one of the largest tropical forests in an urban zone to complete this unlikely triangle. In fact, over the years, the city has evolved its own language called Bambaya Hindi, which is a mix of, well, everything. But the golden key to Mumbai is its real estate, where it's not uncommon for family members to sleep in the living room or even in the kitchen. Prices are ridiculously expensive, even more than New York City, which makes it impossible for many to own a house in the city. However, one company that's leaving no stone unturned to fulfill this dream of Mumbai cars is Ajmera Group. Its motto is to deliver maximum value for money properties bundled with aesthetic appeal and use of innovative construction techniques. It's not only helped the group win trust of its customers but has also ensured that the group stays true to its philosophy to keep evolving. That today as a as a you know human being or as a you know as a country as a city as a state we we are evolving we are trying to change we are trying to bring in new things for the betterment of the society for the betterment of the people and for the betterment of a human being per se so similarly when we look at it that's what we feel that today when for our real estate projects but the line where we are in we feel that every day when a person every time when a person is buying an apartment or a house he wants to he wants to convert this into a home because that is his you know life's earning that is his savings everything which is investing in an apartment and we want to give them that comfort and the feel that this is a home and a home can be only converted when you do something very different than what you normally do so we try to look at minor minor things within our apartment which will make the customer very comfortable to live in to enjoy the living maybe higher carpet area more efficiency so today i am not i am not you know uh, we try to evolve in terms of our planning to see to it that the space in which the customer is buying or the area the price which the customer is paying is being utilized to at least 95% of the entire amount what he what he is spending so we as ajmera our motto of evolving is continuing in design space in product space in you know planning space and also in in you know probably even buying a land because for us land is a raw material and that's where we see to it how we can actually evolve this land and make it a huge great township or a great building or a great project which actually will be loved by the people who is staying over here Ajmera Group's ability to keep up with the changing times and deliver something new in every project has helped the group grow from strength to strength. And this is evident from the fact that in a span of just five decades, the group has developed over 45 million square feet of livable space and enriched the lives of 45,000 families in India, Bahrain and United Kingdom. But this huge feat was not achieved overnight. The group's journey started way back in 1968 when its founder, late Chota Lal Ajmera, also known as Chotu Bhai, moved to Mumbai from Gujarat. After doing small jobs and venturing into different businesses like oil trading, textile trading and more, Chotu Bhai found his life's calling in civil construction. So basically my family and Chotu Bhai and all their brothers, they, they all reside, resided in a small town in Gujarat uh, known as Vasavad, it was a very small town and obviously they had, they, you know, Chotubai had that aspirational vision of becoming an entrepreneur and coming to Bombay 
and doing some businesses over here so that's how he started and then uh, all the brothers there were about seven brothers who came slow one by one now once they finished their education or they grew old they started coming to bombay and doing some of the other uh, you know jobs and uh, thereafter uh, chotu bai was handling uh, you know he was into a fabrication business and thereafter from there he took up they took up into contracting and from contracting uh, we got into real estate after that there was no looking back in fact today ashmera group has many firsts to its credit from building asia's first ever township comprising 1500 buildings and 17000 flats at shantinagar in mira road on the outskirts of mumbai to constructing the first mall cum multiplex at city mall in mumbai way back in the year 2000 we are very proud as ajmeras to have many first to our credits and uh, obviously the township at mira road with 1500 apa- buildings and 17000 apartments it was one of the biggest and the most bold step uh, we took during the time during the 1980s because uh, we fundamentally believed that uh, housing is a very emotional need for every indian even in the 80s and even today so just to give you an example of yogi nagar when we started yogi nagar it was during the 1975s and 80s that's when we started that project in borivali and that point in time uh, we made a mark because that's when we sold apartments at 75 rupees a square feet and uh, obviously while we were constructing it was the time of uh, you know the cement crisis during uh, antule's time the cement crisis were there and that cement crisis had actually shot up the construction cost because the cement supply had become very very short all over india obviously our construction cost at that point in time were very high because of the higher cost of construction but we stuck uh, and eventually our cost of construction came to a, if i'm not mistaken on 9500 rupees but we stuck to our commitment of 75 rupees to give to those buyers who had booked with us so that gave us a lot of credibility that gave us a lot of trust to those buyers who had bought in and then that spread the word and then eventually yoginagar became a very very uh, famous township in borivali to live in little wonder then that ajmera group tagline is built on trust the key usp of the group is its ability to create townships in isolated areas of a city and to deliver a differentiated offering in each one of them Bhakti Park at Vadala in Mumbai is another such project that houses Asia's biggest IMAX dome theater. When we developed this area there was there was uh, you know nothing as such then when when we started we got the Asia's largest dome theater uh, IMAX dome theater which is the world's biggest IMAX dome theater which is there over here we are very proud to that you know they are based over here plus uh, you know this is the pro- only project uh i would say at least in the central suburbs or the western suburbs all put together which has all modes of transportation be it metro rail uh, be it mono rail be it the eastern freeway be it the bkc chunabati connectivity be it the eastern express highway or shivri navasheva link road so these are the connectivities which one one project from at bhakti park itself you have so many connectivity so this you know for a city like bombay and a, you know the peop, the person actually really prefers to have you know the best connectivity is the best project so we are very proud to say that with so many connectivities within one project it really stands out uh, you know as a very different area or different project than others so definitely it gives a landmark to the project and plus the kind of openness what we give the fine kind of openness what this project has is very rare to find in a city like bombay to have such kind of openness is for projects evidently ajmera group's approach of developing large projects with open space has made it a force to reckon with on that positive note it's time for a short break but on the other end of this break we look at how the group ventured into different geographies stay tuned keep evolving with ajmera group welcome back the feather in ajmera group's hat is its capability to adopt modern construction technology that not only guarantees timely completion of projects but also ensures there is no compromise on the quality of construction 
As Ajmera group, we have always had the motto of timely completion and uh, uh, giving the best of the qualities, uh, you know, in in the project wherever we have committed or whatever we have committed. So over the last 50 years, uh, that has been our motto, and we have stuck to that uh, always. And uh, we have seen and ensured that whatever projects we are, you know, uh, committing. Um, uh, to whatever best is in our hand without you know with all the permissions in hand and everything we ensure that we complete the project on time or before time and that has been our motto always over the years ajmera group has got the knack of sticking to commitments but what's even more interesting about the group is its ability to diversify and for this it ventured into newer geographies after tasting success in mumbai's real estate market Today, the group not only has a strong presence in cities like Mumbai, Pune, Ahmedabad and Bengaluru, but also ongoing international projects in Bahrain and United Kingdom. Our group has been uh, on an expansion mode. Ajmera always tries to, uh, our strategy has been expanding and growing uh, over, over the last 50 years and that's what we continue to do so. So as, as moving from Bombay to Bangalore to Pune to Ahmedabad, uh, we as a group decided that we should also now expand our shows uh, internationally which is within our reach so obviously we went to uh, Bahrain and we have done a project where we are also very proud today when we are doing a project in Bahrain which is the tallest building of Bahrain, Residen tallest residential building of Bahrain has been developed by us and the project has been doing uh, great, uh, we launched it last year and we've you know for whatever we've launched we've sold more than 50 percent of it so it is giving us great response and one of the biggest because uh, the credibility is where we take along with us the name is what we take along with us and that has helped us you know achieve these kind of numbers talking about from that we launched about five projects in uk in london per se and that also has been going on in full swing and by next year we will start delivering the same apart from geographic diversification the group has also expanded its product offerings by developing differentiated international grade properties including high-rise towers, ultra-modern luxurious villas, commercial complexes and corporate parks. All of this has helped the group deliver some of the most iconic projects in the country like Enigma and Casa Vyoma in Ahmedabad, Ajmera Annex, Ajmera Avenue, Ajmera Lugano and Electronic City in Bengaluru. On that note, it's time for another short break. On the other side, we take a closer look at Ajmera Group's latest iconic project, Ajmera Island. Keep evolving with Ajmera Group. The jewel in the crown of Ajmera Group is Mumbai's interconnected, integrated new age living destination, Ajmera Island. Designed by world-renowned New York-based architect SOM, the brains behind Dubai's Burj Khalifa. The USP of the Ajmera Island is, in spite of being in Mumbai, it is away from the mad rush of the city and houses a 25-acre landscape garden, taking it closer to nature. We are very proud to say that in a city like Mumbai, when you have a 100-acre township or an area, it becomes your own uh, island, it becomes your own land. So when you are, it's like I am owning this land. So for we want every owners of apartment owners of this property to own this and to enjoy this moment, the open space, the green, the greenery, the, you know, the landscape. That is what I feel today is very rare to find in a city of Mumbai. And when you get something like this, like a 33 acre garden, plus so many different open spaces, a dirt biking center, uh, that go-karting uh, go karting space, and all these things is very rare to find in a normal uh, project. So when you have such things coming up in a project, I think it is very proud moment for every one of us to call this as your own land. So that's how we named this Ajmera Island. Additionally, the integrated township offers a retail arena and an entertainment zone, while Island Sports Academy includes a cricket pitch, a basketball ring, along with a dirt bike and go-kart track. The multi-story towers offer unhindered views of the Arabian Sea. 
even though Ajmera Island offers peaceful living amidst the crowded confines of Mumbai city, the project is very well connected to major parts of the city. The advantage of Ajmela Island is that this project is a centralized connectivity to the western and the central and north and south Mumbai. So it has got a very very nice connectivity from all sides. So if you want to reach Fort, you can reach in 20 minutes. If you want to reach uh, BKC, you can reach in 20 minutes. If you want to reach Navi Mumbai, that is 30 minutes from here. If you want to reach to uh, probably Navasheva, which is uh, you know which is like where the new airport is going to come. This is with the help of the Navasheva link road which is just one kilometer away from here. You will be there in 20-25 minutes at the new airport. So when you see that connectivity to north, south, east, west is you know joined in and you've brought in the project together, that's that's the most important aspect for any project today in Mumbai. The high-rise Ajmera Zeon and Ajmera Trion Towers comprise luxurious 2, 3 and 4 BHK apartments. On the other hand, the 4 BHK apartments are spacious that boast to have a living room of the size of a 1 BHK. While on the other hand, each of these towers have dedicated 1 acre modern recreation zones and are also bundled with a fully equipped clubhouse, spa, gymnasium, concierge service, yoga hall, library and more giving a much fuller living experience that today's Mumbai car is demanding for. For Ajmera uh, Island, the motto of our group and for the project has been less for more. So uh, when we say less for more is uh, uh, in terms of efficiency, in terms of pricing, in terms of uh, amenities, in terms of uh, connectivity. So when I say let's, let's look at uh, amenities, so uh, normally the kind of amenities what we provide for the project or for a particular building like of our say Ajmera Zion or Ajmera Trion, that much of amenities probably you would find in a normal complex of 10 to 12 buildings. So where we have given it in one building. So only less number of people are using those many amenities which a normal project with 10 buildings will be using. So that's how we say it's less for more for in terms of amenities. In terms of efficiency, uh, our designs, our plans of the apartments are such that there is less space wastage in terms of passages and common areas and more space has been you know divided into rooms, living, kitchen, dining where you are utilizing that space more in your day to day life than you are spending those time in your passages. So that's how we say in terms of efficiency and obviously uh, pricing which is the most important thing for budget which is the most important thing for any project or any human being to buy an apartment. So uh, we, are, we proudly believe and think that uh, you know our pricing has been quite competitive and uh, it is a value for money for the project what you are you know with the kind of amenities and the things what you get it definitely adds on to the value for money uh, in terms of the you know project. Uh, so we really believe in less for more and that's how we translate our motto of less for more in all these aspects rather than just one. Undoubtedly, Ajmera Island is more about a better quality of life with a high-bro living experience delivered at a competitive price. Evolving with Ajmera Group. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.